Once you've logged into your Connect2Go account, choose your security module from the left-hand side menu. You'll notice this brings you to the page with all details. To change the name of it, simply hover over until Change Name comes up. Click on Change Name. Rename the device and save that. Underneath the details, you'll also notice the MAC address of your security module, as well as the version it's running and the last time it updated itself. If you click on the picture, here's where you can change that image for your home security system. You can choose from pre-existing ones you've already uploaded by simply clicking on that image. Or if you want to upload a new image, click on the existing image. Choose a file from your hard drive and upload that image by hitting the Upload New Picture button. It will now be your picture and it will also show under existing pictures. The next thing we see is the status of your system. Here you can see Ready. To arm the system, simply click Arm. You can enter the PIN number and arm it. Or you can also arm away without a code and a stay arm without a code, as well as a star nine arm. These are your four options. You can also send commands. Here you can toggle the program outputs, programmable outputs. You can also bypass zones send a sequence of events to your module. You can also send a reset or reboot the module. Underneath your module status, you'll see cameras. If you have network cameras, you can also add these to your Connect2Go site by just adding camera, select internal or external. Here we've got internal. Find your camera from the list or add a generic camera and click next. And the last thing you have to do is name that camera, put in the external port for access and type in the username and password for that camera and click the next button. To remove any cameras, simply select edit on that camera and in the top right hand corner, click delete this camera or device. To view the camera in a larger view, simply click the view button of that device. And you'll also see if your camera supports tilt, zoom, uh, pan, all those controls will be underneath as well. So you can turn left, right, up and down. On the bottom of the page, you'll see all zone activity. And you'll actually notice that some squares might be red or black. If they're black, they have not been opened or used in over two hours. But if you hover over the squares, you'll see the when they were closed. For instance, here you'll see living room motion detector was closed 116 minutes ago, yet the family room one is open, meaning somebody's moving in that room at that time because the number is black. And you'll notice that the red slowly fades to black over two hours. So at a glance, you can see all zone activity. On the right hand side, you'll see all zone activity with the most recent at the top. So you can actually go through the list and view all zone activity. To manage the device, simply click on manage device in the top right hand corner. This will allow you to manage zone labels, manage partition labels, manage usernames, manage zone followers, as well as subscribe to auto time updates. Let's start at the top with manage zone labels. Here it's pretty easy. You just add the zone number and give it a name. So here let's take uh, zone number 20. We'll label this back garage door and we'll even put in a note. 
should never be open. Simply add that. And zone 20 now appears at the bottom. To update it, simply click the update button, make your changes, or to delete it, simply click on the delete button on the left hand side. Now to manage partition, uh, my system only has one partition, so I can label it whatever I want. We'll just call this home. But if you had a home and a separate garage that was on another partition, you could label them separately. Now you'll see it's named home. To manage the username, simply click on that. You'll have to know what user number is associated to that person, but we can just add, let's say number five here is dad, and we add that. To remove one of the users, simply click the delete button, or to update, click the update button. To manage zone followers, simply click on manage zone followers and here we'll follow zone 01 on the list, which I know is the front door, and save that. Now to make sure I get notified, I go into manage contacts. Let's go to Rob's cell that we set up earlier. Assign the device and here we're going to pick the home security module. We're going to modify that to zone followers. Now anytime that zone is open or the front door is open and closed, I will get a text message telling me so. Simply save alerts when you're done. And the last option under managing device is subscribe to auto time updates. Simply just click the box.